We'll be talking about two different tests in this section, the ANOVA test and the Kruskal-Wallis test. So Kruskal-Wallis name is just named for the people who developed that test. ANOVA is sort of a weird acronym, um, just to see if maybe this helps you to remember what we're talking about when we do this. So if we spell this with a capital A, capital N, analysis, capital O for of, and then capital V, capital A, variance. That's where this acronym is coming from for ANOVA. Not really sure how somebody came up with that one, but that's our shortened notation for analysis of variance. So there's the ANOVA test, and then there's going to be the Kruskal-Wallis test, which will be our alternative test when the conditions aren't met to use the ANOVA. So to use specifically the one-way ANOVA, which is the only type of ANOVA test we'll look at in this class, we must verify that each of the following conditions are met. So each of our data sets needs to come from a normally distributed population, or we need to have a sample size of 25 or larger. So obviously the first thing to do for this is to check sample size. If your data set's large enough, it's very easy to verify that condition. If your data set's too small, then you'll use the Shapiro-Wilk test to assess normality. So we need to have data sets that are normally distributed or to have large enough samples. Our populations also need to have equal variances. Or we could also look at standard deviations. So we need to make sure that the variances or standard deviations are equal. So keep in mind variance, population variance we represent as sigma squared. Standard deviation is sigma. And this particular property is referred to <clears throat> more technically as homoscedasticity. So not necessarily an important word for our purposes to keep in mind, but again, if you're reading reports, if somewhere you're, you're involved with something that's talking about data and that idea of homoscedasticity is mentioned, it's just coming back to this idea of each of our populations having equal variances or equal standard deviations. We're not gonna conduct a formal hypothesis test to verify this, but we are gonna look at a, a simple calculation to verify it. So we're gonna assume that this condition is met as long as our smallest sample standard deviation, so S min, as long as two times that smallest standard deviation is, sm is greater than or equal to the largest sample standard deviation. Or rewriting that with a little bit of algebra, if we calculate the ratio of our largest sample standard deviation to the smallest, that value should be less than or equal to two. So one of the things we're gonna do is calculate some summary stats to get our largest and smallest values, calculate that ratio and make sure it's less than or equal to two. And then we have a last condition, our samples must be independent of one another. And for our purposes, that'll be assumed. So we'll have those first two conditions to verify in order to use the ANOVA test. So keep in mind that if even one of our data sets fails those conditions above, so if even one of our data sets fails the conditions for an ANOVA, we can't test a claim about means. So instead what we'll do is turn to the Kruskal-Wallis test and test a claim about medians. So the Kruskal-Wallis test is similar to the ANOVA um, in the sense that it's testing multiple population parameters at the same time. In this case, what we'll be testing is the null hypothesis that the first median is equal to the second median, is equal to the third median, and then on for however many different samples we have, versus the alternative hypothesis that at least one median is different.
So we have those two conditions that we need to verify. And again, we need to make sure we verify it for each data set. So we need to make sure that our each data set is, comes from a normal population or has a large enough sample size. Then we need to calculate the sample standard deviations for every single data set, identify the smallest and largest values, take the ratio, and make sure that result doesn't exceed two.